Hi everyone, my name is uh, Katie Teo. I'm actually one of the uh, appointed consultants for uh, Iconic Worldwide. So today I will be sharing with you some of the useful uh, glove uh, statistics, uh, particularly on the supply of gloves in Malaysia and also the global demand. So let's look at it. So this is actually this is actually the the slides provided by Magma, who is Malaysian Rubber Glove uh, Manufacturers Association. And this is the projection by them in 2020, which is this year. They are expecting there would be about 330 billion gloves in demand this year. And most importantly, if you look at this, the expected annual growth rate is about 20%. So before the pandemic, the glove industry was growing at about 10% on average. And now it has doubled from 10% to 20% here. So this is something important to take note. And moving into the next slide, on the right-hand slide, the pie chart in red, it is actually the gloves supplied by the first-tier companies. The first-tier glove companies, which include uh, Top Glove, Hata, Supermax, Corsan, and also Riverstone. So five of them actually taken up uh, about 92% of the Malaysian market shares in glove industries. And the remaining 8% is actually taken up by the second-tier glove companies who are Comfort, K+, and etc. So in total, all of them produce can produce about 211 billion gloves in 2020. However, if we look at the pie chart on the left-hand side, this is the expect, uh, estimated global demand. We have demand of about 330 billion. So when we look at the press release or the research report, we always see there is a shortage of gloves. This is what it means. The demand 330 billion is much higher than the supply of gloves, 211 billion. And in this pie chart, it shows that Malaysian glove companies has taken up about 64% only for the global demand. And interestingly, what moves into next year, 2021, we have seen a lot of our new companies, they ventured into the glove production, which is the pie chart in yellow in color. So let's assume all of them can meet their target supply for gloves, all of them including Iconic, will only take up about 8% of the market share in Malaysia. And the top glove, Hata, Hata Supermax, the first tier and the second tier will just take up more than 90% of the Malaysian market share. So in total, all of them together with the new companies, let's say all of them can meet their target supply. They can produce about 280 billion gloves next year. However, when we look at the left-hand side, the pie chart, the global demand for gloves has grew to 396 billion. And again, in this situation, the demand is still much larger than the supply. And just now, what mentioned by James for Iconic, Iconic targets to supply 3.1 billion of gloves. If you use this number 3.1 divided by 3, 396 billion, it shows that uh, Iconic has will only be taking up less than 1% of market share for the global demand. And this is the statistic for 2022. Against the supply of gloves shoot up again to 362 billion. However, when we look at the demand, it was it is still so strong at 475 billion. Even in 2022, we have seen a shortage of gloves. Uh, we have seen an issue of a shortage of gloves where the demand is still higher than the supply. And in 2022, Malaysian glove companies are expected to take up about 76% of the global market share. And when we look at the, the, the analyst uh, research report or even some top management from the glove companies, they have actually mentioned the shortage of gloves will still persist in the next two to three years, which means the issue of the glove shortage may only be rectified by 2023. So this is aligned with what we have shown the statistics to uh, all of you. So basically, this is the, the industry outlook uh, presentation. Thank you.